Hi everyone, it's me, Donna, and I am here today to do a recipe since I eat mostly just a carnivore diet, which has been working well for me. Today I'm going to be making, putting to use some of the chicken salad that Ron made yesterday. We have a big bowl of it right here, chicken salad with onions and tomatoes in it. He chopped all that down and that was good. I have an egg, because I did see some uh, other YouTuber use sardines chopped up in the egg with some cheese, and I'm gonna be using my little waffle maker. So you see it? Let's see if you can see it. Yes, right there. It's so cute. It does like little waffles out of eggs. Okay, and first, I'm just creating this really right now because she didn't use pepperoni. I'm gonna throw a few pepperonis down on this little waffle maker. I like that. Pepperonis are really good. I'm gonna close it just for a second. Okay. And I think I may use some Parmesan. This is really good stuff too. I have my egg already beaten up and I already got the chicken salad made. Just heating up this pepperoni. Oh yeah, it heats up pretty quick. And these are some pretty nice slices of cheese. Oh gosh, I'm Italian and I could just eat this. Mmm. By the mouthfuls, okay? <laughs> just like that. Mmm. I'm putting some in the waffle maker too. Putting some chicken salad in the eggs. I'm gonna see how this comes out, I don't know. Okay, so here we go. I got that, see the pepperoni? I'm just gonna, it's hard for me to hold my phone. But anyway, I'm gonna put some in there, just a little bit, I guess. I don't wanna overload it. Okay, so that's it with the eggs. I'll put a little bit more chicken salad over there. A little bit more. I'm sorry, it's tuna fish. Same thing, just about tuna, chicken salad. I'm closing it. Oh, you know what? I got, ooh, that's pretty hot. Be careful. I'm gonna also put over here some more of that cheese. Gosh, this cheese is delicious. Spread it out. Okay. So, yes. I'm going to let that cook. So, yeah, anyway, I've been doing a carnivore diet for uh, about nine months. I started out at 122 pounds at five foot one. Had a little bit of fat in the middle and a bigger chest and stuff. And I went down with no exercise in about two months, I would say, down to 105. I wasn't expecting those results because I didn't exercise. I was gonna be happy if I even just got down to 115 from 122, like seven pounds, I would have been happy. No, the weight just kept on coming off. I just went strictly carnivore one day, cut out all the carbohydrates and the sugar and vegetables and ate just meat, hot dogs, chicken, a lot of hamburger meat, things like that. And I just kept losing weight, 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 so. Now I'm 105 and um, I went like from women's size four, which is still pretty small. If you tell anybody you're women's size four, they know you're small because I now do junior's clothing because they're tinier size three. So I'm really happy about that. Ooh, let's see, this is cooking real good. Let's take a peek. Wow, it's hot. Wow, ouch, it's pretty hot. I'm gonna unplug it and the heat will let the rest of it cook. So now that I'm on a carnivore diet, I guess you could say, um, I do cheat. I'm in good health, so a lot of people, they get a lot of like issues with their stomach and things like that, but I, I'm pretty, I'm healthy. There's nothing wrong with me, so I can cheat and not feel the side effects other than gaining a pound, right? So like yesterday, we went out to eat dinner with my kids and I uh, went to McDonald's and I had a Big Mac, I had french fries, I had a soda. So I'm not here to say that I'm 100% carnivore, but I'm about 90, 90 to 95%. It keeps the weight off if I just do the 95%. Saturdays, we drive down to Earl's on his motorcycle and I eat a big slice of pizza. You know, and then the rest of the week, I'm pretty strict. 
drink just lots of water, no soda ever. And it's keeping the weight off just eating meat, eggs and meat for breakfast. And then I have another second meal around 4 p.m. Just all hamburger meat usually and cheese and olives and maybe hot peppers and stuff, jalapenos. I like that stuff, a few onions, but yeah, no, no rice and beans, which I used to love to eat and pasta. So carnivore diet is really working. Okay, let's open this up and see. Ooh, the cheese got a little sticky. That happens sometimes with the cheese. Just go like that, comes right off. Let's see if I could get this waffle. Oh, it's a little mushy because of the tuna, I guess. But these waffles sometimes never come out. Okay, see? Now there it is. I'm gonna let it cool off a second. Okay, so. I cooked my egg waffle with the tuna fish in it, right? Let's try it out. Wolf hop. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Actually tastes good. I didn't think I was gonna like it. I gotta take another bite, because it really does taste good. I got a little pepperoni in there too, with chicken salad, eggs and tomatoes, like that. Mm. Okay, yes, yes. If I if I were you, I would try this. This really did come out good. And it's a good way to use up your leftovers, like if you add extra tuna fish or chicken salad or even salmon. And I know the last YouTuber, I forgot her name, she used sardines, which would be good too, because I don't like sardines just by themselves. But I guess if you beat it up into an egg and stuff and you put some pepperoni or even bacon, in it and I put the cheese, it would taste good. But just sardines sometimes, I just can't stomach the sardines, but I have to say this with the tuna fish is good. So I'd make it if I were you. Mm-hmm. Really good, actually. Has a good taste. Mm-hmm. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. And if you did, please subscribe. We would love to have you. So subscribe and like the video, and if you could, even comment. Let me know if you made this recipe and liked it, or if you changed it up a little bit. We'd really uh, love to hear from you guys. Well, thank you, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching. Thanks. Bye-bye.